Hey guys, Symbapogon citraeus. Hmm, that's an interesting sounding scientific name. Well, you know what, if I do smell this, it has a very citrusy aroma to it. And if I do taste this, it's got a bit of a citrus flavor to it. It actually uh, smells and tastes a little bit like the breakfast cereal Fruit Loops. Uh, but this is a culinary plant that is used uh, to beautify the edges of a landscape, but also used in the culinary garden. Uh, here in zone 6B7A, we've actually had in most winters this plant uh, over winter for us. Uh, but you start looking this plant up and it says hardy to zone 10. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you that we've had this plant uh, in the State Botanical Garden of Tennessee over winter uh, in zone seven pretty well uh, in a little bit of a raised bed with good drainage and we can uh, make that happen. And what is this? Uh, this is lemongrass and lemongrass is used as a culinary component uh, in a lot of, in particular, Asian cooking, in particular Thai cooking. Uh, they use uh, lemongrass uh, to flavor different dishes. Uh, but it, I believe it's also a beautiful grass. Uh, it is very sharp. Uh, the leaves are almost like little razor blades, and so you have to be careful. But this is a fun plant to have in your vegetable garden, in your culinary garden. Uh, but a good one you should know uh, because it is beautiful, but also very useful in the kitchen. So Symbapogon citraeus, the lemongrass. Uh, this is, you know, it's a type of culinary or ornamental grass. Uh, like all grasses, it's in that Poaceae family. Uh, it will die back down to the ground in the, in the winter time for us. Uh, but if you are in zone nine, zone 10, uh, you may see this grass persist. Uh, I do like that it does blush to kind of a reddish yellow fall color. Uh, that is quite nice as the weather starts to cool. Uh, you're gonna, again, you're going to see this listed as hardy from zones 10 through 11, uh, but I have seen this uh, over winter multiple years in zone 6B, 7A. Uh, two to four foot high, spreading out two to three foot wide. I rarely uh, would see this plant flower. I've never uh, seen the plant flower. I don't even know what the flowers of this plant look like. Uh, it's typically cut back. Uh, the very bottom parts of the stem is what you'll see used primarily for culinary purposes. And here's a landscape tip. This is a rapidly growing ornamental or culinary grass that is used for the lemony flavoring in Thai, Vietnamese, Laotian, and Cambodian cooking.